edge or is this uh i think navi simply because they have wisp i think wisp is, yeah although mvp phoenix beat it yesterday um it was more he could have true. seen the sky and been able to shadow shadow dance out he probably i guess once that call gets thrown out maybe should just dark packed it instantly but i'm playing maybe see another good dive here hop balls gets his second kill of the game but here comes the count again qo tps in intel on two marches now to make sure not to the top lane once have lost as well as the wisp and this is gonna be two kills going the way of the mvp side they strike back tps from both their mid lane and their safe lane but low ground haste rune shadow dance has a lot of escape tools and Ancients now being stacked up by uh, the Go Black Skyrath Mage. Coil at mid, March is the target they want, doesn't have a mech yet, has 10 stick charges, though. Q are going to show up as well, they go and Go Black March. Damn tanky with three points of corrosive, this is not going to end well for the Na'Vi side. Dendi now, one or two more right clicks will finish him off, he's trying to bottle up, he's trying to juke in the trees, but not going to work. Qo's haste rune shows up. Meanwhile, bottom, it's four rev, gonna get jeweled up underneath the tower with Havos here as well, this is a winner winner, chicken dinner. Funnick gets his first jewel damage of the game. But mid lane, spray though. Havos, his Crimson Guard, gonna help keep him alive. Relocate out defensively. I think Havos was fine there, but a very defensive play, and this could just be a dead wisp. We'll see if he brings back Havos with him. It looks like fight is maybe gonna happen. Dendi's nearby. Yes, they'll so bring in Havos. Dendi is there, but it's a two hero against Pell that killed the wisp instantly. Havos is the next time. Can't bounce him between two. Dendi can't get rid of it. He goes down to the finger of death. Oh no, Havos, the slows are going to keep going, he needs to fight, March can't sustain himself against the Quills plays there, Legion going to get a nice three hero nuke off, and now Funny gets a new target, Havos, the Quills keep on stacking, March wants the career, but he loses vision over the tree, Havos now, he needs to turn his back, he can't fight these heroes, the Axe will bring him down with the chop, two kills go the way of Forev's Axe, and what a fight for MVP Phoenix. What was the deal with that relocate out? That was not. You wait until a boss is ready. Go back now, dead as well. Shot number three. Four with a triple kill. Our boss was like three quarters HP when he did that defensive. So big kill on the Slark right there. Oh, they smoke up behind. They're actually going to wrap around. I don't know if it was actually scouted out. I do not think so. No, doesn't look like it. They do have the high ground advantage, and Forb will reveal the smoke from his spot here. It's going to be the Witch Doctor who gets caught out, though. The Puck Orb goes through and catches some more. Forb flicked through the trees and gets scouted now by the Wisp Ball. Jewel damage going to be going the way of Funding, or is it Forb still alive for a bit longer? Winner, winner. Eo kills the axe here, and the chase is on. They want more, they want much, they want to go diving. It's come on, leading the charge here, but the Wisp on the back line makes for in trouble. The Shadow Dancing Kuo gonna get one with the help of the Lion. He wants more, he wants to go for that bank score, but he cannot fight Havoth. Then he will lead with a coil and try to bring him down, or a blink silence potentially. That's for bottom lane. Bristleback, as per usual, backed up by Vang score, hiding in the trees with that relocate ready. They see you. Uh, oh, Blink Cole catches up two with an impale. The Blink sounds from Dendi isn't in time. Oh no, Funny now in trouble. The cask is still bouncing around. Dendi to a boss to Dendi the chop gonna miss. Dendi keeps himself alive for a little bit longer. Baseball with a relocate out in three seconds. Dendi's dead. Baseball died the second before he relocates out. And now her boss left alone. He's got no way out. Forum's gonna call. He's gonna turn him around. Says Bristleback, who we're gonna hit you from the front. And that is a five-man team wipe going MVP's way. That call from four relocates out of there, but Wisp will be coming back soon onto that high ground. Here come Na'Vi, leading the charge, but they're onto Marchi, who's one of the tankier of the MVP heroes. Are uh, they going to look to commit to this one? It seems March is going to go for the TP out. Four of kind of stuck in an awkward spot as well. March gets out of there. Four rev now left without his Viper backing him up. They killed the Slack to start things off, and as a result, MVP, not a fight they can take. Na'Vi, get two. They're looking for more in the bottom lane. Dendi gets fingered with a Maledict Witch Doctor ultimate. Dendi's dead. Funny can't do anything about it. Blink out from Lion. Reason's still alive. It's a three for one trade. Dendi even going to buy back for this, and Reason in a bit of a tough spot here, but he gets the Hex onto Funnick. Trying to just cancel his blink now. He's gonna have a blink up in a second or two. Reason takes damage from the Legion nuke. Now the puck ball to attack the blink forward, and this looks like a dead lion. As Navi get a four for one trade. Under... Another item or two. Tower is under attack. Get your Witch Doctor accept get Viper. His next big item, which looks to be an assault for us, so. Items are gonna be coming both teams' way, and as far as late game goes, do you give either, either team an edge here? Oh, Blink Call, Vanks are actually gonna get caught out. Hold that thought. As uh, the Lion holds up with a finger. There's your Duck Forward, though, gets jeweled. Gonna be seeing a counter kill come out if they can kill him fast enough. The jewel damage is not gonna be a 
acquired by Funnick though. Reason now looking to TP out. A boss though. Right click and too damn hard with plus 190 damage. We'll get caught in a pounce here. A boss still has ages though, so they've got to kill it's about twice. To uh oh. He needs to die. One, zero. It's gone. Now they can kill him. This is the perfect time. He doesn't even get the regen from the ages. He goes down at the perfect time. Oh no. I don't. He popped his BKB early. I don't think. Fire's bottom tower. He Oops. Doesn't Four see the uh, the Legion commander on the map, but Legion commander is back in that dire base. That's the one here. He's always wary of. Is where shortly. is Radiant that Legion? Where is that blink kill? Top lane though. Four minutes. He doesn't have a blink for a couple tactics. of seconds. Havos now maybe in some trouble here. Relocate not being used yet. They want to bring down the whispers, and this could strand Havos. He's got no TP. He was relying on the wisp as his escape mechanic. And they're gonna look to chase him down. Her Vos has high, pretty high movement speed, but Forex says, I've got more. He's gonna turn BKB, Huo, gonna hit him from the front. Here comes Funny with a duel. He's gonna use a four of though. They've got nothing for the Slark. Slark just assaulting the Na'Vi side. Dendi goes in, will not get hit by the pounce. That'll save his life potentially. Blink forward from Huo, wanted the pounce onto the Bristleback, but the Yule Scepter will prevent it. On the sidelines though, Skyrath caught out by the Lion. Not sure what happened to him, but it was doing some heavy lifting too. Go Black gonna get somewhat cut out by Forev, but does go for the concussive shot and will probably look for a TP out. Forev, ooh, not gonna get the call. Funnick goes in. Oh, Marks the target with a relocate game. They could be able to kill the Viper here, even with the Assault Crest. QO shows up once, Vector in return, but he gets hexed. Dendi is found the size of Vice. He did not see that one coming. That came out of nowhere. Forum gets a blink call on the two heroes. The QO blinks in as well. The dead Skyrim. Legion acts with the double dunk. They want more. Dyer's they want Dendi, but he's going to not join himself out. He actually blinks to the side and suddenly high ground being siege here. Navi's going to go in. They're going to get thanks for blinked on here. QO shows up as well. That's a dead Wisp with no buyback as well. Kyo and Shadow Dance here wants to be a little bit careful. Dendi's Hexo still cooling down for another couple of seconds. Havos wants to fight. They time the Hex around that Dark Pack. Can they fight this one? They've got three long respawns, Na'Vi. No one with buyback. This may just be Midrax. They don't really have the damage between Dendi and Havos. Havos can maybe look to just go bait in the front lines, but this looks like first lane of Rax going the way of MVP. Yeah, they can't fight this. Now without this, they'll go to the two heroes. Skyrath kind of unimportant, but Dendi certainly are. Have fallen. MVP swing bottom, they want to keep on fighting. They do have to worry a little bit about this blink hex initiation from Dendi. Duo though, 4k gold, and does have some room for error, although the buyback is on cooldown here. That's the risk here, the blink slack, pound, actually hits go back. He misses Dendi, but he finds a freebie behind that QO. Taking heavy damage here, but he's still going to be alive here. He's just fine. Five seconds till he has a Shadow Dance. Havos down the front line. He's going to look for an escape here. May need to relocate. Where is it, Vank Score? Havos is in trouble. You're going to relocate him out. There's your teleport to safety just in time. But he glitched Dr. Oldman still going through. Breaks on the Legion, who only gets a Lion in exchange. Buyback from Funnick now. This is the last effort from Na'Vi. If they don't win this fight here, they're in trouble. And they've already lost four racks. So even if they win it, they're in trouble. Escape now is the name of the game. MVP say we've taken three... Rex, let's just get out. Let's just cut our loss here. They may be forced to fight, though. Mark's going to turn around and look to bring down Bank Score once more. The count's bouncing a little bit here. Royal going to catch just QO. And Bank Score the whiz once more brought down. Havos in the front lines. Viper strength constantly. He's just getting kited around. Can't even fight into this MVP squad. March is just too much of a beat. He gets the kill. Goes down himself, though. A one for one trade. Havos doesn't want to buy back right now. He wants to keep on, he, he wants to hold on to it, but he's going to be forced to use it now. Dendi shows up, Blink Yules is too late, the chop was already there on a die back for Thunic. They want four of now, with the boss flying back, they've got to get some kills off of this. QO going to be forced to pounce out, this is your time to buy that Abyssal Blade. He's got no buyback, 6k gold, doesn't make a pit stop at the secret shop he wants. Dendi he can't get though, or at least it doesn't look that way. QO, Abyssal Blade still in hand, he's going to see Go Black now, Dark Packed off the slow, and Go Black not getting out of this one. He doesn't want to use the Abyssal, he's going to have to, did not get any good batches. Dendi meanwhile kills off the lion who was uh, swooping in. Now Voss gets pulled, he gets pulled out of the base too. They know there's no relocate from the Wiz. Q are gonna go pouncing in, doesn't hit because of the BKB. Now maybe gonna look for that Abyssal Blade, but Shadow Dance being used and not exactly the the best initiation. This is a better one. Forup gets a blink call on two. Havos getting one small pullback in. Kua goes on to Funnick with the official finger. Funnick taking another bite. He's got no buyback. Havos without BKB in trouble. Witch not doing the Aghanim's ultimate. It's bouncing. Finally gets dealt with. Forup though. Blade now up in the front lines. Two Navi here is dead. Make it three. There's your chop. Forup now looking for Dendi. Can he TP out? You betcha. But there's a blink. There's a call. Dendi now dead as well. That's four Navi here is on the sideline. Slark and a buyback. And it's GG in game one. MVP. Upset the Ukrainian All-Star team.
Hey man, it's too easy. I, I, I think actually Advanced Corp played very poorly this game. That, that one relocate out just completely destroyed them. And QO got so fat off of that four for one exchange. And it, it, it is a difficult game uh, for Navi. And MVP clearly weren't scared of it, or else they would have banned out the Wisp in the first phase. But yeah, they, yeah. they seem very unfazed. It definitely feels like not a drafting loss. I, I would even go. Far, I don't think.